Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm your tutor, Roland, and today we will be discussing word problems. We'll be doing simultaneous equations and uh, looking at a pretty difficult but actually really simple method to solve word problems. Okay, this is actually very important because in the future you'll be doing this sort of problem in uh, statistics. So this is grade 10. In 12th grade, you look at statistics and you'll do these simultaneous equations with some derivatives. And uh, if you're doing this in varsity, you'll be doing in, uh, some integration, which is the reverse of der derivatives. So basically, the strategy works as follows. You read the whole question. You make sure that you understand actually what is being asked. Generally speaking, these things are actually quite simple if you practice them a couple of times. So Make sure to do a couple of these. I'll be uploading a lot more of these videos so that you can practice, practice, and just make sure that you're perfect. The next thing you need to do is just assign a variable to the unknown quantity. So if you're looking for, like in the question we'll be doing, if you're looking for bicycles and then tricycles, we'll be using B to represent bicycles and T to represent tricycles. It's simple stuff like that. So then the next thing that you need to do, the fourth step, is that you need to translate the words into algebraic expressions. So in this case, we'll be doing equations. And from here, we need to set up an equation or a system of equations which will be able to tackle the, the current problem. The sixth step is obviously to, to solve through these uh, two equations or three equations, depending on how many simultaneous situations you have. And then you write your final answer. You write it in word format because it's generally more accepted that way. I mean, obviously, your teacher is not going to really accept it I mean, she'll, she, he or she might give you the marks for writing down a specific number, but if you can explain it in words in maybe a, a sentence or two, it's going to be a hell of a lot easier for them to just hand over those free marks to you. You've you got, you got to do stuff like this. That's how you get them easy marks. Cool. So let's do an example. I've written here, it's example 11. There will be plenty more in between this video and the previous video and the, and the video that's coming after this. But yeah, this is just a basic explanatory sort of uh, example. So let's look at it. We've got a shop that sells bicycles and tricycles. There are seven cycles, so this includes both bicycles and tricycles. So there could be, for instance, two bicycles and five tricycles, making up the seven cycles, just to clarify. Right, and then there's 19 wheels. So obviously you need to start thinking, okay, well, there's three wheels on a tricycle and there's only two on a bicycle. So I mean, I'm sure you could probably work that out in your, in your head. But let's set something up. So let's determine how many there are of each. So let's determine how many bicycles and how many tricycles. As I've mentioned, bicycles have two wheels. Tricycles have three wheels. It might seem, you know, relatively simple, but some people don't even get that. You know, it gets confusing for them. The wording part gets confusing. Right, so as we said, we do step one. We assign variables to unknown quantities. Over here, as I mentioned earlier, we will let B equal bicycles, purely from the fact that uh, bicycle starts with a B and we'll do T for tricycles because tricycle starts with a T. Eh, if not, why not? So in our second step, we will look at creating an equation or a set of equations. So in this case, we know that there are seven cycles, which means that there are a certain number of bicycles, B, and a certain number of tricycles, T. So we just say b plus t is equal to 7. We're not giving it, given any sort of relationship. We just know that there are two wheels per bicycle and there are three wheels per tricycle and the total wheels are 19. So relatively simple. There isn't any relationship between you know, the ratio between the bicycles and tricycles. So we don't actually focus on that. Right, moving forward, we are looking to do step 3. Now with step 3, we need to rearrange the equations so that we can substitute them back into each other and solve. So, like I thought, we take T, we take the B, and we switch the B over to the right-hand side, making sure to change the sign from a positive to a negative because it's jumped over the equal sign. We've got a general term there, so we've got T is equal to 7 minus B, and now we've got 2B plus 3 times T. We already know that T is equal to 7 minus B, which is pretty simple, so we might as well sub it in in the next step. So we've got 2b plus 3t times by 7 minus b is equal to 19. We then calculate it out, so we say 3 times 7 is 21, 3 times minus b 
is minus 3b and we put the 19 on the right hand side with no sign change because there's been no movement there. We now take the 21 across the right hand side because we're grouping terms. We have 2b minus 3b gives you minus b. You have 19 minus 21 gives you minus 2. Divide both sides by negative and you have b is equal to 2. Now we've got a term that's been solved. So we now need to go and substitute that back in. So we can find the term for t. So let's calculate the tricycles. So, I mean, you, you don't even really need to go and do any work here. You can essentially say 7 minus 2 is 5, but that's essentially what you will be doing when you sub number 2 back into that equation. So we know that there are 7 bicycles, or 7 cycles in general. 7 minus 2 is 5. Therefore, the number of tricycles is equivalent to 5. There we go. We say 5. Cool. So now we've solved how many bicycles we have, how many tricycles we have. Step 5 goes as follows. Write down the final answer. I know that in the beginning we used this color to represent solve, but I mean we've done it already, so no stress. So let's write the final answer. There are five tricycles and two bicycles. There we go. Easy game.